Pliers date back to around 2000 BC. Ancient drawings show Greek gods using pliers at the forge. Today, forgers still make pliers, but these days, they use automated tools to shape the metal. Pliers are standard equipment in the tool belts of electricians, plumbers, and mechanics. Pliers have three basic parts, handles, a rivet, and jaws. All the parts start out as steel rod that metal workers forge into shape. First, a powerful electric furnace heats the steel red hot in just a few seconds. Then a metal worker sets one sizzling rod at a time on a forming die. A massive die forger hammers the rod against the die with tons of force. It takes up to four strikes on separate impressions for the rod to acquire the die's shape. Then the forging is placed onto a press that trims off any excess steel. It takes two forged rods to make one pair of pliers. This pair will be for gripping, so the next step is to machine the teeth into the jaws. Workers set the plier halves into the broaching machine. Its tiny cutters, dozens of them, shave away steel under a shower of lubricant. When the cutters pull away, the jaw of each plier half now has a nice set of teeth. They must heat treat the steel to harden it, a process called austempering. The plier halves travel through a gas-fired furnace for about two hours, at a temperature in excess of 800 degrees Celsius. Then they quench the steel in salt water to cool it rapidly and evenly. The teeth on these pliers will have to take a lot of abuse, so they get a laser heat treatment to make them even harder and more durable. Now the pliers are ready for assembly. For gripping pliers, a worker inserts a single piece rivet and joins the two halves. He then sets the joint onto a machine that spins at high speed, generating force and friction to set the rivet. Cutting pliers are also held together with a rivet, but the setting process is different. The parts go into a press that applies both heat and pressure to secure the rivet firmly. Next, workers insert the cutting pliers between two stone grinding wheels. Again, lubricant prevents the steel from overheating as the wheels wear down the rivet until it lies flush with the plier surface. Next, the cutting pliers go into a gas oven for another two hours of heat treating, a process called mar tempering. When they come out, they cool in an oil solution, rather than the salt solution that cools the gripping pliers. Steel is a finicky material, so it's critical to manage the heat treating process meticulously, otherwise the metal will be substandard. After heat treating, the pliers go for a bath in a vat of rust inhibitor that helps protect the steel from corrosion and lubricates the riveted joints. A robotic arm runs one pair of pliers at a time against a grinding belt, polishing all surfaces except the handles for a sleek finish. Then a laser engraves the company logo and product number. Automated bars now lower hundreds of pliers handle deep into a tank containing liquid vinyl. No messy drips. Before dipping, the factory heats the pliers to help this coating stick to the steel. From there, the pliers go straight into an oven. The heat hardens the protective coating, cushioning the handles, so they're easier on the hands. Whatever their shape or size, pliers are a toolbox essential for anyone looking to ply their trade. <laughs>